So let's um, restart that and then let's type something Lamin Sane um, email. Mm, okay. Lamin Sane. All right. Password will say my password. Okay. So when we submit, it sucks it succeeds but when we go back now we leave the password field empty submit it says password cannot be empty but as you can see all these fields have been retained all right actually just looking at my name guys i just realized that my name is five characters long and since we're going to be doing validation we might probably want to leave off the character um checking or we might actually shorten the length that we're checking in here so Let's go down and do the last validation that we're going to be doing. So we're validating for first name. So we'll say if um, string length, basically string length is used to check how long a string is. So if we check what's in the post first name, if the length of that is less than two, we're going to say, since I think most names probably have I don't, I've never seen a name one letter long, but if in any case, um, probably they have to contact us and we'll have to change our validation so they can register on our website. So we'll check if the string length of a first name is less than two. I'm going to add another field, um, another um, error message in the errors array, which says um, it's going to be called first name two, and it will say your first name must be at least two characters long okay all right so let's do the same for the three other fields so we we'll say if post last name if string length of the last name did I get that wrong oh I need Mr. bracket over here so if the last name is also less than two characters long we'll say errors last name two first two last name must be at least two characters long and we'll put a semicolon there on our third one we'll do the check as well if string length dollar underscore post email is less than so for email let's increase our check and actually say six so email must be at least six characters long so say dollar errors email two to email must be at least six characters long okay we'll go ahead and check for password say string length dollar underscore password post sorry <laughs> um, password is less than um, for password for security reasons let's make that eight because you want people to put in a really strong password okay all right so finally we'll add the errors for the length of the password so we'll say password two equal to password must be at least eight characters long okay so done the check for first name last name and third we did it for email and then now we've done it for password okay so now let's go ahead and actually output those errors as well for then checking of the links so we just copy the first validation output that we're doing here and rename everything that has a one to two um all right so this next one here will copy that as well paste it just after this next one um, say two, two. This next one as well. Copy it. 
paste it here. So we'll say email to email to. So basically, what's that doing is just pasting the next set of errors. So the first one is outputting the errors to check if the field is empty. Second one is outputting to check if the field is of the length that we um, specified.